Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about while loops in Python. Now, a while loop is basically a structure in Python which allows us to loop through and execute a block of code multiple times. So I could specify like a few different lines of code and then I could put that code inside of a while loop and it would basically loop through that code, executing it repeatedly uh, until a certain condition was false. So while loops can be awesome and there's a lot of situations in Python where we're gonna want to loop through specific lines of code. So in this tutorial, I just wanna show you guys the like bare basics of how while loops work. And then in future tutorials, we're gonna use while loops to create little games and stuff like that. So let's talk about while loops. Um, when I create my while loop, uh, the first thing I want to do actually is create an integer. I'm basically creating a variable that's uh, a number and you don't have to do this for a while loop, but just for our demonstration, I'm going to. So I'm just going to call this I and I'm going to set it equal to one. And now what I want to do is I want to create a while loop. So I'm basically just going to say while and over here, I want to specify a condition. And this is what's called our loop condition, or you can also refer to it as a loop guard. And basically we are going to keep looping through the code inside of the while loop as long as this condition is true. So whatever condition I put in here, as long as it's true, we're going to keep looping through the code inside the while loop. So I'm just going to say while I is less than or equal to 10. And now I'm going to put a colon and I'm gonna make a new line. And so anything that's below this while loop declaration and that's indented like this is gonna be considered code that's inside the while loop. And so that code is gonna get repeatedly executed while this condition up here is true. So I'm just gonna put a very simple line of code here. We're just gonna print out the value of i. And then down here, I'm gonna actually increment i. So I'm gonna add one to i. So I'm gonna say i, is equal to i plus one. So basically I'm taking this i value and I'm adding one to it. There's actually a shorthand that we can use in Python to do something like this though. I could just say i plus equals one and that's automatically gonna add one to i. So this is like a little shorthand and you'll see people in Python using that a lot. So over here we basically have our while loop. So I have uh, the outline for a while loop. So we're defining this variable up here and we're gonna keep looping through the code inside the while loop as long as this condition up here is true. So if this condition is false, for example, if i is equal to 11, then we're not gonna loop through this code anymore and we're just gonna move on. So down here, I'm actually just gonna print done with loop. So this will kind of illustrate this for us. All right, so let's go ahead and run this program. I'm just gonna run it. And you'll see down here, we get some output. So we're actually gonna get numbers printed out one all the way down through 10. And then we're printing out done with loop. So basically what's happening is we're printing out every time we go through this loop. So initially i is equal to one, right? The first thing that Python's gonna do when it gets to this while loop is it's gonna check this condition. So before it does anything else, it's gonna check this condition and it's gonna say, okay, is one less than or equal to 10? And that's true. So as long as this guy is true, we're gonna go through and loop through all the code inside of here. So we're gonna print out i, which has the value of one, and then we're gonna add one to i. So now i is gonna go from one to two. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way back up here to this while loop declaration and we're gonna check the condition again. So remember, I checked the condition the first time and then I looped through all the code. Then I go back up to the top and I check it again. So I'm gonna say, okay, is i less than or equal to 10? At this point, i is equal to two. So i is less than or equal to 10. So now we're gonna go through and we'll execute all this code again. So I'm gonna print out i, so it's gonna be two and I'm gonna add one to i, so now we have three. And then Python's gonna go all the way back up to the top and it's gonna check the condition again. So on every iteration through the loop, before Python does what's inside of this loop, it's gonna check that condition. And as long as the condition remains true, we're gonna keep executing the code inside the loop. 
Eventually though, in this program, I is gonna end up being 11, right? So on the last iteration, it's gonna end up being 11. We're gonna come back up here and we're gonna say, hmm, is 11 less than or equal to 10? Nope. And so since it's nope, we're gonna come down here and we'll print out this done with loop line. So that's the basics of how these while loops work. We're specifying a loop condition. As long as that condition's true, we'll keep executing the code inside of the loop. And after every execution of the loop, we're gonna come back up and check the condition again. So that's how we end up with this printing out down here. So that's the basics of a while loop. And we can use these while loops to do all sorts of things. Like while loops are very, very powerful. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.